What's up, YouTube? Today I want to get into the Theory Mugle lineup. Now, we know that they've come up with the Amen lineup with their Theory Mugle, and they have a, two different types of fragrances in their lineup. You have your gourmandish trends that they've created with Amen, where they have the Amen Pure Havan, they have the Amen Pure Malt, they have the Amen with, you know, basically the mint in it. It was like, you know, the lighter fragrance, and they had the pure coffee, they've had a lot of these different candy notes and candy types of fragrances which push the envelope like a niche house. And then on the other hand, they have very refined fragrances in other bottles and other versions for an older person. So basically, Theory Mugle is one of those hit or miss fragrances. Now with their gourmand scents, Amen is a hit or miss. Pure malt is a very appealing scent. Pure Havan and pure coffee are both very well liked. And so this is definitely a good scent house. And they've created a lot of these versions of their Amen. So basically, if you like Gourmands, Amen is definitely up your alley. But what you got to do is you always got to try with vials. Because Amen and the Theory Mugle house is a hit or miss with a lot of people. And you understand that it takes a while for those scents to smell good in your skin. Because they're long-lasting fragrances with a lot of oil. And they're almost like EDP strength on a man's body. So you got to remember that, that they can smell up the room very quickly. And so Theory Mugle has made some very good fragrances, but they have to be worn wisely and appropriately. Like at nighttime is good unless it's a refined fragrance. Now with Amen and Pure Malt and Pure Havan, those are all date night scents. And so then it gets into this issue, like Pure Havan is a tobacco fragrance, and not everybody wants to smell tobacco. So that can be the hit or miss with Pure Havan. You got to understand. So Amen and Theory Mugle are very, very good scents. But the problem is Theory Mugle can make Amen a cloying scent too. You got to understand because it is very strong and heavy. So, you know, this is my review on the scent house. And I hope it helps.